Hi, this is Pat Love with Pat's Two Cents. One of our regular long-term YouTube viewers and subscribers sent me a dream. They shared this with me. We, sh we talked over the phone. And I want you to hear this dream. You talk about last days. When you feel like you're going through hell, and you feel like all hell is breaking loose, and we don't know what's happening with the country. We don't know what's getting ready to go on in these last days, other than what the Bible says, and there are wars and rumors of wars, and we're wondering, what is it all about, Alfie? Well, let me share this dream with you, and then we're going to follow this dream, of course, with Pat's two cents. Isn't that exciting? Yeah. Anyway. Here we go. This is Lynette's dream. She dreamt, now check it out, it's got a lot of symbolism. She dreamt that she was deep down in the water in a submarine. It was that type of a vessel. She said it was huge. It was spacious. There were a lot of Christians. It was all Christians that were in, born again Christians, that were in this vessel. However, not a lot of Christians were in the vessel. It seemed like it was a chosen few. All right. She said there was a lot of space. People were not on top of each other. A lot of space. If you wanted to be with someone, you could. If you wanted your own space, you didn't have to steal in a room to get it. You could just walk on the ship and find all kind of places to be alone. It was not crowded. Now listen, she said, I want you to listen to the symbolism. Top of the line, everything, air conditioning, the food, the, the amenities, the, the furniture. She said it was like mahogany, there was burgundy, there was uh, gold. Everything that was metal was gold. It was just, she said it just looked so elegant. Now. Here's the trip. After a while, she said she started really getting tired of the confinement. Now, she was trying to figure out how to get out. A very pleasant place. Food galore. Everything you needed was on this vessel. She said nobody did without there was plenty for everybody. All needs met. You listening? She said that at a certain point, she started really getting tired of being confined. So now, her normal nature, she's trying to figure how to get out of this vessel. She said, I just want to get out of here, right? As God would have it, God responded to her desire. And she, because she had told God, Lord, I want out. But God said, no, you will come out in time, but not now. That's a word for many of you. You will come out, but not now. And don't try to fight your way out either. Hang on. She said, God told her, not yet. I have you here. Hidden. 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 Do you hear me? And I am perfecting you. Now, she said that after she told the Lord she wanted to get out of there and all of that, God told her, you will compromise everyone's safety okay she said she realized when she woke up part of that was she wanted to get out of a situation but listen listen to this above God let her know that the reason they had to say stay so far down yeah how many of you are feeling down so far down is because there were wars going on above. Wars.
wars and bombings and killings and people were dying and all kind of disasters horrific things were going on above and he had his people hidden undercover do you hear me now psalms 91 this is pat's two cents added to this psalms 91 says he that dwelleth not visiteth he that dwelleth in the secret place of the most high shall abide under the shadow of the almighty I will say of the Lord, he is my refuge. Listen, you have to be willing to allow God against your own desires and against your own whims to keep you stationary for a moment in time. While things are going helter-skelter around us, while we're waiting to see if the mark of the beast, I mean, if the beast is going to show, if the Antichrist, everyone knows all the stirring and the spirit and on the internet and everybody knows that we're in the last days. Things are cutting loose. Satan's best demons are cutting loose. Satan's uh, strategy for warfare against God's people is cutting loose. And many of you who are God's people, who are serious about God and the things of God, God is going to keep you hidden. Now, it may feel tight. You may feel confined. Some of you may feel like you're doing without. Some of you may feel like nothing is facing you but limits 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 you go here there's a blockade you go there there's a blockade it seems to be obstacles everywhere but god he told her he's perfecting her he's perfecting his people he's perfecting you and me so even though i can't just jump up and catch a flight and go to New York or go to Florida or go to the Caribbean islands or, or visit places I've always wanted to go. I never have the money. So I don't get to go because my bills are more important. I got to have a roof over my head and I have to put priorities first. So there are times I wish I could do some things, but I'm confined financially. I wish I could go play racquetball and ride my bike all over the place and do all the stuff I used to do before I had to take care of my husband. But I'm confined with health issues. They're not permanent, but it's a moment in time. Temporary setback. We see it as a setback. You hear me? God see it, sees it as progression because he's doing stuff on our behalf. Now, when it looks to you like your circumstance has gotten you blocked in and you can't break out, you can't cut loose, you can't give yourself some freedom because you have to take care of somebody or you don't have transportation to get around and your car is broken down and you don't have the money to get it fixed or you can't seem to get that job and you're still on whatever kind of help you're staying with a relative or you 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 you're staying with a cousin or a friend and you feel like you know you know when am i going to get my breakthrough but you know deep in your heart you're serving god you're living a holy life for god you know God. You have a relationship, a real connection. You know this. Yet you're wondering, where is God in all of this? These are the last days. And let me tell you, what you see as a setback, I am feeling this right now. What you see as a setback, it's probably the same way John felt when he was taken into custody and left on the Isle of Patmos. 
That was not a vacation site. That was not a resort. That was not a private destination where he could stay on a private island with all the amenities of hot tubs and, 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 and feasts of all different things you can just think about. He was there as an attack from the enemy. And the enemy was attacking him not knowing he was functioning under the strategy of God himself. Because what John did while he was at the Isle of Patmos was receive an assignment, a supernatural assignment from God to write the book of Revelations. God staged that. God placed him there through the hands of the enemy. The enemy was the taxi cab driver to get him there. But God isolated that man to use him mightily for generations and, and, and millenniums. We're still reading the words he wrote. You hear me? You have no idea how God is going to use you. You have, I have no idea how God is going to use me. I'm a, I am an ordained minister with nowhere to preach. I'm an ordained minister with no pulpit. Do you hear what I'm saying? I'm an ordained minister with no church. I mean, I belong to a church, but you know what I mean. And being a female, churches don't use females. So I too feel confined. I have been trying to do prison ministry for ages and every time the machine breaks down there's a problem I had to get fingerprinted I just got fingerprinted now I'm waiting on clearance so you find yourself in situations where it seems like when already is there something wrong with me you know, you, you, you start questioning yourself, you start questioning God, and then you start looking into the future with some doubts. Well, I, I don't know, you know, I'll be 64 in July now, you know, not a whole lot of, of uh, yeah. I mean, you, you, you really start going through this. Some of you are in situations you can't see a way out of. Okay, now, is this God's punishment? Or is this a trial? Is this a, a lesson in life that I'm supposed to get and I'm just not passing the test? What is it? God answered. I've got my people covered. I've got you hidden. When you come out, like John, you will fulfill God's purpose. I will fulfill God's purpose. In the meantime, he's got us on lockdown, baby. And it does not feel good. But thank God for his presence to reassure us all along the way. Your change is coming. Your breakthrough is coming. So is your assignment. And when God uses you or me, it's going to be very effective. Just not now. It's little baby steps in little increments of progress for right now. Okay? But there's going to come that time when things break loose and God's going to have to bring us to the surface after all the dust settles. You hear me? Then it will be God's timing to use the people he has been hiding for such a time as that. It's not such a time as this yet. Such a time as that. You hear me? When then becomes a here and now. You be encouraged. God bless you. And Lynette, thank you for sharing your dream with me and us. Amen.